Awesome. Thank you very much. Right, so I'm just going to set up the scenario we had backstage. So uh, Lassie's like, oh, hey, Dave, let's talk about how we're going to run this panel. So I have some hats to give out and some magnets and these giant, now you have, what, a sign and some sandwiches. And so she comes backstage with like six pounds of props. And uh, Zach and I are just kind of like, oh, hey, okay, awesome. So um, I found some cat food in the back. So um, today's panel is brought to you by Alley Cat. A 10 pound bag is only $1.99. Your cat will love the refreshing taste of liver and sawdust. So, but now let's get a little serious here. You got some cups for the beer we're going to float later, so we're all set. <laughs> Excellent. Well, let's get to work. Time is precious. Um, heard some amazing stories today, but I think core of the stories, or excuse me, a core of a lot of the energy of Detroit is through our nonprofits. And I'm really excited to have some terrific nonprofit representation up here. I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm just going to let them introduce themselves one at a time. So you guys can play paper, rock, scissors. All right, go for it. Lassie, tell me that I get to start. Um, first of all, quick personal note. Uh, I know that Mark Lane is listed on your program, and quick shout out to Mark. I know he's watching at home. He actually came down with strep throat, or uh, so he's telling me. So I'm, I'm up here. My name is Zach Walsh. I am actually part of the public relations and social media team for Goodwill Industries of Greater Detroit, and uh, just very happy to be here today. I need to give one other quick shout out to my wife, who's also watching at home. It's our anniversary today, and I didn't know that I was going to be hanging out this late, so I have to say hi, Kelly. Please don't kill me when I get home. What's your name? Kelly. Kelly, come on down to the film room. We got some pizza waiting for you at the anniversary. <laughs> She's great. Hi, I'm Vasa Shevdov, and I'm the director of Friendship Circle, which is now in 70 places around the world. If you don't know Friendship Circle, you may have seen the magnets that mysteriously disappear, or excuse me, appear on your car. I'm pretty sure that she goes out at night with her gang and pretty much just litters Detroit with uh, those, uh, those magnets, which is great. Well, let's get right into it. Um, tell us about your mission. Tell us your story and what your nonprofit's all about. Absolutely. Google Industries of Greater Detroit. Well, actually, let me, let me stand up here. Stand up. Quick, quick little audience exercise. I want everybody to raise your hand if you know someone right now in this region who is out of job. Not surprising. Again, let, let the record show what was said earlier. Pretty much everybody in the room. Um, and it's, it's a sad reality, but it is a reality. And Goodwill Industries of Greater Detroit is the only organization across all of Southeast Michigan with the sole objective of helping your friends and neighbors, whatever employment challenge they might face, to earn a job. We offer, we offer employment education and training programs, um, help, helping people get their GEDs, helping people um, um, earn new skill sets if they've been laid off from, from uh, certain industries, trying to, to find out where those jobs are. And, and Goodwill is also a social enterprise that is actually working to create businesses that will create jobs. Uh, you might have seen some news recently about a, uh, the Goodwill Greenworks Industrial Recycling Facility that opened a few months ago back in, uh, back in uh, uh, it's actually located right, right here in Detroit. And uh, uh, later this year, uh, in December, in fact, Goodwill is going to be opening up the first real Goodwill industry store um, in Metro Detroit that's going to be opening up in, in Canton um, uh, in December. And it's, it's, a lot of people don't realize that Goodwill hasn't had a store in Metro Detroit, a real Goodwill store, in about 10 years. So that is, that's something that we're using uh, social media, Twitter, and Facebook to, uh, to get the message out about. Excellent. How about you? For the most part, Friendship Circle is based on pairing up teenagers with a child who has special needs. While giving respite to the family, we're actually empowering the teens to doing something good with themselves and learning many lessons. Um, I don't know if you're wondering, but I'm wearing kind of a strange hat. And I figured before I try to share with you the types of issues that we deal with in our community, I thought I would step in someone else's shoes and see what it would feel like for exactly five minutes to actually have a label on me. Unfortunately, you and I, many of us subconsciously, subconsciously, some not, um, but many of us kind of think of individuals with special needs, you know, they just, they don't really belong here. They just, they're better off if they're in their own classrooms, their 
own homes, their own sports, their own activities. Why bother and why put them in a place where they'll be uncomfortable, we're going to be uncomfortable, not know how to handle it? Well, guess what? Hundreds of teens, hundreds of teen volunteers, and hundreds of adults who volunteer, they get it. They not only treasure our individuals, not only do they respect, but most importantly, and this is the main message, most importantly, they learn from our special friends. The lessons our special friends can teach us, you can't learn at this conference, you can't learn at any college, you can't learn at any high school. The only ones that could be your teachers are the special kids and the special young adults. So, can I take two more minutes? Yeah, sure, go ahead. We, uh, so now for the fun part, who over here has seen this around town on cars? Raise your hand. Raise your hand and I have to see where you are. Mine's not that big on my car. That's on the screen. Who's seen those around town? Jamie in the back, champion of Detroit ladies still. Oh. Throw her hat. You want to be careful because if you're going to take this hat, you're going to be asked to be doing something, so watch it. <laughs> Next question, who over here works at a place where individuals with special needs are working as well? Okay, watch it again. Take it if you want it, if you're ready for it. And last but not least, whoops, take yours. Where's yours? Oh, okay, that's who over here has a family member who has special needs? Come on, where's my There's one back over there. And I can't throw it. Who wants to throw it? Awesome. Okay. All of you who have received a hats, please stand up for a minute. Um, who got the hat? Stand up. Okay. You are now officially ambassadors of this message. I've heard it enough times, the little bit that I know about social media, I heard it enough, don't talk, just listen. Well, guess what? The same message is for you to go out, don't only do it yourself, teach it to the community, your friends and family around you. Listen, take the time and listen to our special friends. I promise you, they will change your life forever. Excellent. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Zach, what about your plea? If you got a call to action for people out there who uh, are willing to uh, step up for your cause, by all means, take the stage. Yeah, thank you. Um, you know, I think that's really important. Uh, it's really important to us that we have people like Zach and Jamie who are willing to take the stage and to be the ones that stand up for us. But as I mentioned, everything that Goodwill Industries of Greater Detroit is about is about helping local people overcome employment challenges and earn jobs. It's everything that we do. We've got uh, bowling for jobs events. We're going to be rocking for jobs um, actually right here in uh, a couple of months with some, some local music groups. We're tweeting for jobs. We're Facebooking for jobs. We're creating goofy little videos featuring uh, ice cream cups on a stick named Scoopy D that hopefully some of you out there have seen. Um, so every, absolutely everything that it is that we're doing is to try to help people get jobs. And that's what we're using social media for, is to help you find out how everybody who raised their hand earlier today, how you can actually contribute to an organization that is trying to help those people who you raised your hand about to earn a job. And we've had a lot of great, great success in this. There's a number of different types of success that you can have and uh, different ways to measure return on investment with social media. Uh, Google has an absolutely fantastic story. Once they, um, once they decided that they were going to uh, get back into the retail game, open up the store in Canton, they realized, hey, you know, we're gonna we're gonna be getting a lot of stuff that people are gonna be donating and that we're gonna want to sell at the store, and we're gonna need a pretty big truck to to uh, move all that stuff around. So what Mark did was he uh, he actually put a message out on Twitter and said, hey, we're gonna be opening up a store. Does anybody want to give us a truck? You know, there were some, some crickets for a little while, I'm sure, but then after, uh, after a couple of minutes or a couple of days, Art Van Furniture actually stepped up and said, hey, you know, we've been following you guys for a while. You're all about jobs. 
we got a truck, and they actually gave Google Industries the truck, which was a huge uh, component of what Google was, was trying to do with the store, and they were able to divert the resources that they would have had to spend leasing or buying a truck into helping train more people for local jobs. So that was, that was just a fantastic success story that they had. And uh, another one, uh, more on the, on the personal side of things, we actually were able to connect with a, a guy who had been laid off from, uh, from a steel mill, actually. Uh, he came to Goodwill, found them through Facebook, and he's actually going to be one of the assistant managers at the store. So uh, the stories like that don't happen every day, but we're working to, uh, to help them happen more and more, and lots, lots of great successes going on in the fight for local jobs. I think that deserves a round of applause. We're so um, I think we wrap things up here. 15 minutes is good enough time to tell your incredible stories, and there's more nonprofits out there that have incredible stories. Um, uh, Bassey was kind enough to have a social media club Detroit over at the Friendship Circle. If you haven't had a chance to check out their facility, it's absolutely amazing. I want to live there. There's a movie theater, they have hot dogs, and um, like a cheese pit you can jump into. So that, you know, that's on the else. Um, Good Will Detroit, we've talked a lot on Twitter. Uh, I just want to extend my hand and uh, welcome you to present at Social Media Club Detroit next year in 2011. We'd like to have your story out there. And if any of you have any stories to share, by all means, hit us up, get our network up. That's, this is what it's about, the support and the community not only what we're doing, but what our nonprofits are doing. So, the Friendship Circle and Goodwill Meets Right. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Do a quick plug, Goodwill, if you're not following us already, Google DT on Twitter, and uh, just look up Goodwill Industries of Great Detroit on Facebook. Thanks a lot.